back to the land of you don't need to worry about how many you drag home. I have had it. Well, this uh, this video is gonna be much like uh, like all of them. There's gonna be some drunk derelict struggling. Can uh, get around on his crippled leg and kind of comforting to know that some things never change. Well, there's a f dirty old mullet in the mix and this side and the other, but she's a little uh, she's a little different being that the the hot rod we're going to go get. Well, she's uh, she's only two by fur, and uh, usually I don't go for them breeds, but for uh, well, I live in a f***ing swamp. What are you doing in my swamp? So everything's got to be a fur by fur. So yeah. Usually a feller always goes for an old fur buy and you know, cause you gotta, gotta have a fur buy, but I'm gonna try something that I haven't tried before. And no Dodge guys, relax. I'm not pulling my butt out. Disappointed! You know, being that variety is the spice of life, being that, uh, you know, I never never drank beer before, and, you know, and look at me meow. Never driven pickup truck before, and, and look at me now. <laughs> never tried mud racing and mud bogging before. Well, look at my last video. What a good time. But you know what else I've never done? I never have drag race before. If you've watched this channel for a while, you said, Peg, you know, you had that old dirty old muskrat Kenworth last year that you drag raced in. And said, well, yeah, that's the truth right there. But the thing about it is, is uh, I lost my uh, lost my spot in the swamp seat on that uh, in that old K Whopper. I got replaced by a 95 pound devil woman. Just one more thing. I'm going to marry Dallas tomorrow. And there's not a god thing you can do about it. No. <laughs> so it looks like I'm gonna have to run an old fucking furred. Uh, everything I own is a giant, heavy, one-ton pile of old furred, and you can't really. And, uh, drag race one. Well, you probably could, but you know, their get up and go is kind of slow. Being that they're almost as heavy as one ton Tanya. Every one of these pricks has uh, front wheel assist, and well, that just won't do. So I got on the old uh, counterfeits Craigslist last night, and uh, that's uh, Kijiji for all you fucking fellow frost Pakistanians. And uh, I found something that tickled my turd cutter just right. Hey! And she was built back in the day when uh, men were made out of steel and derricks were made out of wood. Fuck yeah. Men who were willing to stake their futures on a chance to gain vast wealth. She's something in this variety. I wonder if there's any dump bees in here. So uh, I'm pretty sure it was a 1970 a nine the truck that I uh, that I bought. It's got square headlights and all, but ever since I bought that U-Haul truck, it's really fucked up my brain for what has square headlights and what doesn't, because that one's a 79 and it's got round headlights, and this one's a 79, she's got square, so kind of fucks a feller's brain up, you know what I'm saying. But I gotta go buy the seven P's of uh, proper previous planning, prevents piss poor performance. You, you know, might actually bring a spare tire or two this time and uh, to prevent certain things from happening again. Yeah, you see that right there? You see that? Oh, f it's not even my fault. 2022 accountability is a thing of the past. But yeah, gotta bring some spare tires. The fella that owns it said the altar tater's all fed up on it, or it's missing. So I'll grab the altar tater off of this old hooter. Why is the top rad hose completely fing missing on this thing? I don't even know where the fing carbon tater went. I Blackouts occur when the alcohol level in the blood reaches 0.2. <coughs> I had nothing to do with the uh, pillaging of this old fur. This, this thing was a sweet runner but anyhow i gotta grab a uh, voltage regulator i don't have any of them laying around i gotta grab a cdi box because them are always burning out and i gotta grab an alter tater so let's get to her all right well i don't think them alternators ever die because them are on there so fucking hard the top bolt i think the uh, aluminum and the metal uh, haven't been getting along that well and uh well they're all fucked up so I, I i got a breaker bar on it and i couldn't i couldn't get the her loose so tried that old 79 furred couldn't get her loose either on to the next one i guess jeebus all i gotta do is move this pile of chevy tailgates i'm just asking to find a dump bees nest like that i mean are you even cool if you don't have a pile of chevy tailgates that you found at the dump oh. all right no dumpies oh we got a cdi here that's still good napa no an altar tater sucker dumpies no no dumpies i think these altar taters 
are the same. Oh yeah, that thing's loose. Mint. I bet this old sweetheart would fire right up too. Almost feel bad for pulling parts off her. Almost. A keen eye would notice the fuel injected manifolds on there. All kinds of ponies freed up with that shit. I love this old bird. Daily drove the f out of it. Who knows? Maybe one day she'll be back on the road. You never know. Well, how do they say it? Trying the same thing over and over again with expecting different results is the definition of insanity. Well, I'll do the same thing over and over again, but I'll just put out more. Oh, here she goes. Man. Look at it. The young version of me was smart as f oil and grease all over the fing threads of this dirty old boat. Man. Smart and handsome and, well, I was still one legged, but other than that, I had her fing all. Thank you, Pearl. Oh, man. All right. So what's better than one carbonator that's probably on the truck we're going to get? Bringing another carbonator with us. That's the best idea. Funny story about this old truck. She's uh, used to call it a Wana Wan War Wagon because uh, I got it up on mile 101 on the Alaska Highway. And uh, this is back before I even made vidges. And I and bought this old bird for 500 bucks. The guy that owned it said it hadn't ran in 20 years. And he says to me, he says, yeah, she ain't gonna run. And I said, like she ain't. And I got her going. And I drove her all the way back to uh, this camp I was staying at. Then I got really drunk. This mint. Oh, there. How much All of it. I mean, if, you, if you take more than one trip, you're, you're kind of a p What do you think, Rickshaw? You got a few more thousand left in you? Oh yeah, she's got this dirty old rickshaw just a loyal pile of shit. before i fiddle out of here though i gotta dial down on the old fucking rubber foot she ain't fitting in the old fucking uh shit shaker like she used to oh yeah a little suntan lotion oh we're good to go oh, let's see how she fits in the boot meow shit kicker engaged mint i mean the feller's gotta wear his good fucking boots he's going to red deer sakes red deer just a classy hole i find it kind of funny i was using this grinder to uh fuck up uh, pinocchio pecker for my friend's wedding's uh benches there and uh the smell of wood is real majestic right now and i could just say the smell of wood was coming off the old magic shoe she is wood mint now just add mullet break Look at the majestic pile of dodges in this guy's front yard. You like that horsepower, Jayco? Did you wash your balls this week or what? No. Rick kind of just up. Oh, nice. See one in the flavor. Are you ready to go get another bird? Nice. Guess how much shit's in the back right now. All of it. So Jayco and I were just hauling off down the old Teepee Creek Highway, or the old fucking, uh, Keddy's Highway here, just giving her. And he was brought up a, fucking, uh, a safety announcement about uh, cornering and maneuverability if there's an animal jump out on the road. And so, remember those, fucking, those Jeep Cherokee videos? Way back in the day, they had all the safety rating videos. And they fucking, The ones that the Bronco 2 never won. Yeah, yeah. They they'd have a fucking animal jump out in front of you and you do the fucking test. And they just They're closing, so we had to go for ice cream first and burger second. That's the fat guy, wave. I mean, they didn't have mint chocolate chip, so I almost had to shoot people, but I mean, this is, this is pretty good. It is pistachio. Well, who the f thought pistachio would be a good thing to put in ice cream? I don't know, but it fucking worked. They nailed it. All right, gone full journeyman fat. They put hickory sticks on the god burger sakes. Get in my belly! Now to play the game of what I the flag girl. Oh, f yeah, bud. Swing, swing, tent pole. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. I'd buy that guy all the beer to be side with that thing. That thing would side wheelie like a mother.
off the windshield the ability to hold out water. All right, get your in a little bit. We got this. Oh, hydro pain in the bed. We'll barely even die. Alrighty, well, ironically enough, we're gonna hang her up in the fucking, uh, the first stop on the fucking Miles of Mayhem race fucking rigging that we did last year uh, in Rimby, Alberta. We go to fucking sleep, get some fucking shut eye, wake up in the morning, and uh, do some hard piddle. Fucking. All right, we got the fuck out of bed here. Jacob just smoked some breakfast, and uh, we had some fucking minty AW again. And uh, we're gonna get a box forward. It's gonna be minty as fuck. Oh, I love that. America. Well, we made her here safe and sound. Look at that fucking sassy old furred. Jake has got his dick out and he's cranking on her because there's a crew cab schlong box or that crew short. I can't tell. I think it's a short, but it might be a long. There's a screwy fucking dodge. Well, we're just going to wait on the feller and then uh, get this old fucker to fire. It's not even a Ford. It's a fod. Well, low and fucking beer hold. Man, the front fenders are in good shape. Jake, oh, the back's not, it's not even that fucking ripe. It's not, it's not that bad, actually. Solid, bro. Usually the thing will just be flopping around like a set of loose old piss flaps but she's pretty tough these fucking back tires are they're pretty roached out but they're fucking toil oh yeah doesn't stink like mouse pits in here glove box delete finger bang bench look at this thing oh yeah oh the ammonia is starting to hit in the mouse piss is strong oh look at that old pepsi bottle ancient what do you think think she's gonna fire she'll go I mean, you don't get much more farmer looking in this old truck. Oh, it's got knobs and switches and shit. Motors and a lights, knobs and switches and a four-wheel drive. Oh, Jayco, it is a Ford. There's the R right there. Man, what's going on? Oh, it's fucking junk. Uh, what? The rad looks good shape. The rad does look in pretty good shape. In mean, real good shape. And coolant in it. Yeah. She's leaving a little bit in the top part. Nah, not much. That's more. corrosion like a motherfucker. What that is? Has it got any oil in it? Think she's an oil burner, Jaco? Oh, yeah. she's on the ad, but she's good. Throttle works. Yeah. Oh yeah. Really shitty battery connection. Oh, they're always shitty. Fucking farmer, bud. Power steering. Is she gonna have a supercharger on it? Oh yeah. Yeah. No! Oh well, as much as I much I'd like to stay and get this thing running right now, I get a real f bad i reckon in the buddy's backyard would, wouldn't be the nicest thing to do imagine if he just victory slides through it just power slides into second base through a pile of my sh that might f the deal up that might boys can you set me up with chips pop in a bar Alrighty, what we got here we can both with the kid that owns the thing and uh mint dude sitting over there in the f-150 his brother with a sassy old 7-3 but uh, we were having a gander at this side of the old f***ing Ferd and uh, there's a lot of guys out there that are going to recognize what that is right away and that was fire. I'm going to guess. Hey, Jago? Yeah, that's that sure sign of a fire fire. Somebody was, yeah, somebody was doing a burnout. But that's, that's your cords up in there. Yeah, so just wicking back box. like that, yeah. Yeah, and then you get that nice circling fire. Yeah. So the old timer was definitely he had his grandson or someone doing burnouts. I'm fing barely. This thing's a classic. That fender is fucking Is she actually fing This is cherry. Sucks that I own it. It's only two wheel drive, so I'm probably not gonna fing it up that bad. Oh, look at the Ford door. You just got a, oh, a Bud Latte can, but. Appreciate that. Oh, and there's fucking the main event. Look at this. A fucking ashtray just jam packed full of butts. And I bet you this cigarette lighter works. Jago, you want to bet lunch and up a cigarette lighter works? You got to smoke one of these butts too. Keys for it. Keys for it. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, well, let's fucking stick in what she needs and uh, fire the hoor up. Like a fucking track. No, line. that's the fuel line. Is that the fuel line? Yeah. yeah. I guess the fuel, yeah, the fuel pump's on the other side i forgot they're on the because dodge and chevy are both on the passenger side you see america on you, this you're side talking about this garbage oh thing don't here. talk about her she's right here you're gonna hurt her feelings because they're whining she's gonna be whining anyway oh is that that fuel line really on there so the the kid that owns it 
or that did own it, said the rear fuel tank is absolutely thundered out of it. Ow. Let's see. Oh, Jake will give that a whiff. Mechanics perfume. That's the good stuff. All right, well, we got to pull that off. We're going to put the alternator on it. Uh, what are the chances the accelerator pump's going to leak? Uh, oh, about 10 to 1. And there's three clamps on here, none of which are doing anything. So, in other words, it leaks per profusely. Oh, no, it's friction fit. <laughs> kind of like how me and the old lady used to be back in high school. Sometimes things wear out. Oh, there's in juice in it, yeah. Oh, it's even green. I know, it's not even water. All right, if you had a 79 Ford, you know, these things always come off, but this guy's got some welding wire on there holding her down. All right, you take this um, make sure you plug these on right before you. I don't know why the Ford had to complicate it. Because Ford complicates the out of everything. Well, that's, I guess that's the way Ford does things. Well, that'd be exciter, that'd be ground, and that'd be a charge wire, I'm pretty sure. And I brought a voltage regulator for. Maybe they're color coded. Well, they are color coded. I'm just <laughs> making sure. And then, yeah, does the charge one just plug on, or is there a fucking. There should be a boot with a nut, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, I think the dude plug on. Jake was talking shit behind my back, gotcha. and the kid even gave us the nut. What a good man. He is a mechanic. Oh, I know. Oh, I my pants. Jake, will you smell that? Oh, Jake, well, I bet that guy in that van's got free candy for you. P.S. It's probably not free. Whole hug. All right, so we got the fuel line hooked up here. I got this clear from the last revive and drive, actually. Now you can actually see if fuel's going through it. It's such a good idea getting the clear. I suck on this. Well, Jake, well, you're a Dodge guy. You want to give it? You'd be able to hoover the gas tank inside out. Actually, <laughs> that there's nothing coming out of there. Oh, we're gonna fucking blow some air through there. The old air compressor sounds like it's got a bit of a rod knock. All right, we're gonna blow some winds here once the compressor shuts off. Can you hear bubbling, Jake? Listen. Oh, for sakes. Which one of us is gonna have to go near the back? One of us is gonna have to go near the back. Both yeah. of us are deafer than Yeah, couldn't hear a dump truck driving through a nicer glycerin plant. That's oh. gotta be a fairly good sized hole in that tank because like it's like whistling through. <laughs> yeah, but I mean it's probably not even a giant hole. Oh, she's a fing gaper. Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, oh I smell gas. Well the fing front tank's actually in pretty good shape. Yeah, I I, I feel good about this rear tank or the middle tank or yeah you know what i'm saying all right i'm gonna stick the battery in it and flip her over to the front tank and see what happens because ford and fuel tank selector valves which they're just the best let's get rid of this thing was that 916 or a half inch so just in case you americans are wondering this old ford was actually built here right in old canada so that's before it was china though there's a level of of uh admiration i actually have for china for some uh greasy haired piece of drama teacher uh ran her into the dirt well i think his dad was about to run her into the dirt yeah jay go get rid of that thing that's what that's why oh that's 716s half inch there young lad i was twisting wrenches while you were still in your mother yeah. i probably was for sakes you know you were born in 98 yeah. yeah, I was definitely twisting ranches when you're still in your mom. How dare you? OEM. Look at the shape she's in, though. OEM paint. All right, hook Where's this. the factory battery tie down? Right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's man. All right, hook that up and see how much sparks you get off of that. We definitely bought the wrong style battery. It's supposed to be on the other side, but that's fine. Horn works? Horn does not work. Key on? Nothing. Oh, cranks. One hole's definitely a little weak. L listen for our gut right here. Ready? It's on auxiliary. Let's blow some wind through it and see if it, can, if it actually switched. Okay, click it on. Hold up. Again. Off. I think it's just blowing out of the fuel line here. Again. Off. Yeah, we're dealing with a, a ruptured line, I reckon. But that's no big deal because we can, you know, I got a bunch of holes here. But I'm just wondering, because the fuel tank selector switch is on the back tank. Listen to that tank. That sounds empty as to me. Thank Are these glasses that I'm wearing a yard worth more than my Ford? God.
I can't afford this. Shit. Oh. Do I look stick and dope? So you're gonna want to cut through fuel line of the grinder, right? You really just gotta pedace yourself. If the if the gas starts to spray out of it, you know, back out of her a little bit. Okay, that guy's cut off. Mint. And cut me off like uh, a fucking uh, eight inch piece of that hose. Now do you want like, what scale of eight inch? Uh, not how I would measure eight inches. <laughs> oh, that's like 16 inches. Now, we'll put hose clamps on that later, I promise. Let's see this Put a hole in here. Stick this guy here. Oh, Jayco. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Oh, the mechanics perfume. You want a nice mist off of that, buddy? <laughs> oh, okay. You got fuel filters? I have fuel filters. That's They're secondhand from a dump, but they're still fuel filters. Well, yeah, Jacob, the fuel filters I have are definitely from a dump, but they're like brand new. Oh, the smell. Jake and I were at Ukrainian Break and Wheel, and there was a, well, Tell me you voted for Justin Trudeau without saying you voted for Justin Trudeau. They uh, they bought Lysol, hairspray, and permanent markers. And, and they were lighters. and they were looking for lighters. Yeah, definitely not going to hop that in the parking lot. All right, well, let's hook this up and just let her pump. All right, well Jake and I are just whipping out the most finest automotive marettes that have ever been wired up onto an old Ford. And these, these wires have definitely been pressure tested with electricity. Oh, there's an under hood light like we can. To, uh, Cut open no, we're not door. cutting that thing open. It's brand new. You see, you hold on to that, and then you lose it, right? Yeah. And you never use it ever, but you... you one yeah, one. that's how it works. We we'll use that one for a ground, because it's got a bunch of holes in it. And we'll use this under hood light that the old timer wired up. We're going to borrow this. What are we touching? Touching probably bumper. Oh, is it? You're trying to find the test of the arc value of the chrome bumper? Man, you don't get chrome like you used to, eh? Look at that. Still looking sassy. I wish it had the other headlight protector on it. I like the look of those. So on the last revive and drive, electric pump me. So on this revive and drive, the electric pump saved me. Is that power? That is power, yeah. I mean, or it might save us. Morettes yeah, so are the way to go. You're gonna want to hook your black to your red and your red. Yeah. Well, why why even think about confusion? We're doing it for safety. Remember this thing had a bared piece on it. Hook her up. See her. Oh, yeah. Hook her up. Oh yeah, at least it's liquid. It's gender fluid. How much is in there though? That's the thing. Sir, is that the pump you already? Oh, I'm sure it is. It's built in America. It's fucking awesome. We're gonna pump all this gas out. That's a nice pitch turn. Man, we're gonna pump this right into the rickshaw. The rickshaw will burn this. The rickshaw is gonna eat this up. All right, good enough for me, Al. I'll go slam her home in the old rickshaw. Rickshaw loves this stuff. It's pretty much Uncle Ben's. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. It'll barely that cause. That looks like ginger ale, actually. You want to take a rip off of it? Is there schmoo in the bottom? That's good. Is there a bunch of schmoo in there? Honestly, it doesn't look like there's much. Ah, there's a little. A little, little rust. Nothing that a fuel filter can't take care of. I've never spent so much time working on a truck before without getting it running first. We could be just wasting our time immensely right now. Are we doing this? Well, I mean, you didn't check if the engine was free before you started cranking it. You don't need to. I checked to make sure it was free with the starter. Uh -huh. more, more efficient. I I have never broken a tooth off a starter before. I've definitely rallied a starter right off the engine with a with a uh, connecting rod before. That was fun. So are we just gonna see how she runs, or are we gonna pull the top of the carb off and see how much fish is floating around in the bowl? We're just gonna let it ride, see what happens. And this fucking fuel stuff making me need to piss real bad. Yeah, same here. Uh, man, I I gotta swore the tank sounded pretty empty when I was under there. What did we pull out of there so far? We got three one liter bottles, or those are one and a half, aren't they? I don't know. Yeah, that's a 1.5, so. Well, how many, so how many four, American four and units? Half, four and a half plus another 3.78, and that's the other four. So, so one, two, five, three that's gallons? That's like a thousand gallons. Or something. Uh, we can't do that, Matt, Jacob. We're too much communist-like, I guess. We're not enough in the freedom units. 
You got your grade nine and three quarters? So are you okay. sure about this? <laughs> you wanted like a good Dodge rear end diff of education. <laughs> Man, this fuel pump is just a f***ing shooter, eh? It's sucking a lot of air now. I'd say she's probably starting to get towards the bottom. Thanks, sweet All right, well you keep pumping. I'm gonna pour gas in it yeah. and just see if it starts to flow pretty hard again. Jago, I know what's wrong with it. Got no gas in it. <laughs> Jacob, what do you want to go? What do you want to do for food later? French fried potatoes. I reckon I'll have me some of the bacon. Some of them French fried taters. All right, I'm pouring. Is it picking up harder? Starting to pick up? Yeah, and actually the gas is starting to turn pretty clear. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Well, don't waste the good stuff. This stuff's like all the gallon for sakes. All right, the fuel system's all figured out. The fuel tank's definitely not gonna leak, right, Jago? That's right. All right, so the first time she started in, uh, I don't know how long, he said he- The newspaper's a tip from 96, 97, so I'm gonna get it started, Yeah, well, the, yeah, you always go off a newspaper because that's what was in the mud bogger, right? All right, so the throttle's not stuck, everything, man. I'm gonna crank on her, Jago, and see if she's pulling fuel to that greasy old hose. Actually, I can just crank on her from out here. Oh, yeah. We're gonna uh, give her a shot of 1203 down her throat hole. The inconsistent cranking would be indicative of a uh, piston or valve.com, but you're gonna wanna have everything soaked in gas. So if a backfire happens, or when the backfire happens, you get soaked in gas and fire, and it just gives her. All right, let's fill the, oh, fill the vent line full. Oh, vent's full, choke is on, kinda. The choke doesn't want to be on. Think she's gonna fire right off or what? I'm gonna say there's about a 69% chance. I like 69% chances. Are you queer? Does it? Oh, yeah. It's supposed to. Let's see here. You're kidding, bud. So it was a bit of a vacuum leak, being that the whole fucking, uh, the positive crankcase vent was tore right out the back of the carbon tater. Yeah, it runs good. Some hard rattling going on. That lifter kick is uh, rowdy. Well, it's a four, so it's just a dummy gauge, but it said all of it, so I believe it. Hurts like a fucking kid, though, doesn't it? One hole is definitely missing. It's not even that smoky, Jaco.
I mean, what is all the smoke? Jake was making her look real pretty. Oh, let me get the lights work. You got headlights? Yeah. Sassy, bud. There's a truck out there driving around with nothing because this old bird's got her all, bud. What do we got taillights? I think it's got ta yeah, it's got taillights. Yeah. All right, let's see how the refire is. Oh. Oh, power steering, right? Might need a little oil, Jaco. Oh, does the cigarette lighter work? Jaco, you gotta smoke one of these butts if the cigarette lighter works. Oh, I think you're in luck. It doesn't work. Might have to check the fuse. I'm gonna guess this fuse is wrapped with old cigarette paper, because that's what my dad used to do. Because this thing has seen some serious oh, butt chooches. Yeah. Look at Oh, John Player's Jayco. She's been smoking the time too. Oh, I yeah. I wonder if the cargo light works. I've never seen they have a fing out front of switch, like a, a, right behind your head there. Look behind your head. Oh, yeah. Switch. It doesn't work though. No. I've never seen that. Neither have I. Fancy. What well, runs? It might be like wine. It just, yeah. it just gets sweeter with time. Yeah. I mean, that's smoke. It's not even smoke. It identifies as, as smoke. It's not smoke. Yeah. It's 2022. Nothing has to make sense anymore. Wipers? Oh, of course they do. I mean, I wouldn't really trust them to wipe a whole lot. Maybe a cornhole. It looks like they've been wiping buttholes. Oh, it's got intermittent, Jaco. <laughs> no bullshit. You're worried about the fire, and I have this awesome fire suppression equipment from the dump. Don't read the gauge, it's, it leaves you disheartened. It's, it's it's an extinguisher. Well, I think this is a red accelerator pump too. Let's just swap that hood out. Oh, it's from the dump. Like who throws it out? Are you smoking lunch, bud? You might as well smoke some lunch. Oh, thanks for grabbing the quarter inch when I needed it. Hey, how you doing over here? Are we giving her? Talk to me, Jesse. Shit ain't working, brother. She got a nasty hole. She's Unloading in third. Are you gonna advance ejector timing? Run nine. Run nine. Oh yeah. Oh, I better go grab the voltmeter and we'll see if she's putting out wall gas. 12.57 for wall gas. Are you dialing that dirty old left-handed dart into you? Yeah. Is it filthy? We're gonna have to throw Lucas in this thing because uh, she's tired. <laughs> like real tired. I, I know that sound too. We gotta wait till at least Valley View before I start feeding it all the ketchup. I gotta get that rod on there. Where's the rod at? You know that Thunderhead 289 guy? Yeah. That guy would be watching me right now and he'd be fing losing it. <laughs> I, I don't think he watches my channel because I, I might use the word Lord's name in vain once or twice. I'm trying to, you know, not do that. I mean, it just happens sometimes. Was this on the top or on the bottom? You think I fing remember? What are you, high? No. Jake on his left handed cigarettes the last time i smoked left-handed cigarettes i got kicked out of the mud bugs i think no you've smoked since then no not me i'm a virgin deep socket don't work anyways for that starting bolts ain't got enough penetration story of my life big guy she'll have more squirt to the to the pedal now when you give her maybe maybe it's just got like a bad plug where that's why it's missing oh well, i'm gonna guess it's a bad plug because it's fouled off with oil <laughs> I watch those guys' videos, but they're they're so PC for the yeah, the lube really. tube. I like the the Thunderhead guy though. He's he's uh, that guy. Is, well, he's like the Steve Dolchids of Fords. Hey, you're missing your factory bottle jack. Oh, Jacob, we're not gonna be able to make her home, bud. Pull this plug wire off to get in at her, and then I'm gonna forget to put it back on, and then. Why is it running on six holes now? And why did it light on fire? Yeah, but if with any luck, I got one out of eight chances of that being the hole. Fight. If you want to throw down in fisticuffs, fine. I've got Jack Johnson and Tom O'Leary waiting for you. Right here. Those well, we're not dealing with chefs here. We're dealing with some dog and some f***ing furred. Let's just see the drop. Let's pull the f***ing... Let's see the drop here. Let's f***ing see. That rust thing... There's... Jago, you must have a little hammer handle on you. Because that's way more in the court. Look at the f***ing striker, Jaco. That's a... It's a self-adjusting striker, okay? <laughs> It's self clearing it up. You slam it. It fucking still times. closes nice, doesn't it? It's the f***ing latch first it, guy. It's not latched. latched. There's no f***ing yeah, way that's latched. latched. Oh, it's just, that's f***ing latched. It's just supposed to ding like that? Yeah, that's f***ing 
fucking tin. Ooh, I'm sorry. Fuck. All right, let's see the you Ford. An actual grab handle. Let's see you the don't old Ford. Flimsy third gen 16 fucking fives. Look at this flimsy. No, you. 16 fives. Are you, are you ready? Oh, no drop at all. Just there's no drop. You, there's no drop. You want to get in a fist fight? No drop. <laughs> well, guess what? Now this is happening. Excuse me. What are you doing? That's how I roll. No! I think the radio works. Oh yeah, I gotta check that out. Good thing we don't have ADD or f all. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Discussing healthcare issues. Yeah, the hospitals are full of f***ing dirt lumps and shit. They're all be f***ing huffing gas in the Canadian Tire parking lot. Rachel Nally, you f***ing skag. Go see if it's charging. Oh, she might be flooded. Uh oh. Did I f up the word rear? Yeah. How's there no spark now? Son of a bitch. Did we f up the word rear somewhere? You know, I got a, a spark checker 500 here. All right, I'll go crank on her. Let me know if she's sparking. Yeah. Queer. Did we kill the Duras Park box? I mean, it wouldn't be a Ford Revive and Drive without killing the Duras Park box, would it? Here's a nice piece of He caught the <laughs> Oh, it's Motorcraft, so you know it's gonna be good. Brand used, Jacob. Brand used. The wires are all bared and touching here. Perfect. Let's try that out. Queer. Yeah, but the Duras Park box lasted at least 15 minutes. <laughs> At least I know what I'm working with here. All right, well, leave her to a sassy old bird to roach the stir spark box out even before she's rolled a tire. How many extras did you bring? I got that one and that one. Jiggly, it never roasts more than one, and that one's basically brand new. Are you still queer? Done leaking? Yeah. Even the shaft's not leaking. Nothing worse than a leaky shaft. Check that battery out, see what you're charging at. 12.46, that's not good. Yeah. We'll uh, try a different voltage regulator. This one's OEM Motorcraft. Let's see if the engine lugs down. I think it did. 13 volts. This thing will make it home. All right, well, let's time is of the essence here. We're working at night. I'm gonna guess uh, 1.30. Oh, we're laughing. So if you guys are wondering what kind of cameras I use, this is a good time to talk about them. I use a, a GoPro 9 now. Jacob, take it easy on the rickshaw. It's got gas in it now. It's gonna be all barfing on that Price. But if you're wondering how tough these GoPros are, I was just uh, wondering why the hood wouldn't close. And well, I was slamming on her pretty hard, like like the old lady after about 10 PC lights. And uh, well, she didn't break. And neither did my nifty camera mount here. Oh, mint. All right, now see if the hood shuts. Oh, yeah. That was like right on it too. All right, let's pull her out of the hole. She's been sitting in for a wee while. Is like right at the top or at the bottom. So so Jaco, did you see all the no parking signs? There's no parking signs and no dumping signs. Did you see a no burnout sign? I did not. Didn't see a sign.
killed tires pretty good. Nice. Yeah. Mint. I mean, you can't do a revive and drive without killing the tires a bit. Oh, yeah. She's mint. This carpet is a guy. Clutch actually feels pretty good. Brakes are good. Everything's good. She's fing mint. Come on, buddy, and you're sick. Uh oh. Uh oh, she's out of gas. God. God. I think she's out of gas. <laughs> Just come make sure it's not getting gas. Come look. Yeah. Ain't got no gas in it. Ain't got no gas in it. Jayco, now I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas. Exactly. All right, you want to stick the nozzle in the hole for me? What are you, a fag? Thanks, big guy. So I wonder if Ford would label, they couldn't put front and rear tank. They had to do main and auxiliary which means nothing next stop canadian mafia man all righty i made her do old uh, ukrainian braking wheel just tickety boo uh, and uh yeah she's running Man, barely even ticking. It's starting to, uh, it doesn't really have the oil, the oil pressure, but we're gonna make that up with a little bit of uh, Lucas. But uh, yeah, she's running mint. Let's drink that seafoam in. Oh yeah, that'll loosen shit up. There is a lot of sludge in that mill. All right, our first trip down the highway since who the knows when. I mean, the tires are, they're still tires and, the, and things are doing stuff, but we're good. I mean, we made her to Sylvan Lake, which is pretty much all the way home, other than not all the way home. But we're back to that parking lot where I had that uh, sack of old cord and the old K-Whopper. Jago, this is where I drank until I didn't need PPE. Nice. Well, yeah, she's running mint. She is heating up a little bit going up the hills. And uh, Jago, we're gonna do a thermostat delete. I know, I'm a dick. Guess where the oil runs? Everywhere, but where you want to. Everywhere. Jesus Christ. Good job, Ford. Engineered the f out of that one. All right, all of that drain. I'll go grab a drain pan for the coolant. We'll be good to go. Jacob, you see your glasses? I could be cool like you now, too. These ones are as seen on TV. They're on sale. You excited? Oh, buddy. Oh, they come with a, cl a clip and everything. You're going to look full blown. Man, how good do I look? You look like a straight Well, my eye, all of a sudden my eyes are just enjoying life. Yeah. Like I feel like a, like, like a mobility scooter but for my eyes. The crawling to the other. Why is there no oil coming out of this filter? That could be bad. Like there's no oil coming out of the filter. What does that mean? Shakel, there's no oil. What? Well, there's a little bit. The oil pump not I don't know. But there's no way it would have ran this far with no oil pressure, so it's <laughs> She's gonna have to run a little further. Oh, she's frammed, she's now. Yeah. I, I can't wait for the comments on the internet. <gasps> you fucking gonna blow it up. Yeah, probably. Just full of metal shavings from the Chinese factory. Do you wanna go like 100% of that Lucas, or you wanna go? Well, we're gonna wanna go at least 84%. All right, let me get the coolant on the drain here. How's the Ford engineering and the two-wheel drive with the coolant drain? Well, it's got a, it's got an automatic rad in it. Oh, the fucking bung comes right loose. Mint. Coolant looks good. Man, this is a whole lot of cast iron for a whole little bit of horsepower. <laughs> Any hardcore 400 351M Ford guys in the comment section, I'd love to hear what you guys think about these things because. Growing up, we always had one, and it always ran, and it always started, but, uh, actually, my old man had some work done to it. It actually had a little bit of power, but, uh, 
For the most part, I, I think these things are giant gutless hoarders, but if you can prove me wrong, you go right ahead. It came loose, I think. Oh yeah. I reckon the thermostat should be wide open right now, being that she's hot and she's barely cracked. Yeah. So she's probably running a bit hot with for that. So do we right stuff this and stick it back together? We're gonna right stuff this and stick it back together. This crusty old off sock gonna pull her balls out of the bandsaw right now. Oh yeah, you gotta get a gander at that oh, sassy old Ford. What a sweetheart. What a nice truck, eh? Why, just looking at that, yeah. What a nice. sweetheart. Bolt action too. Mint. CJ Cole, the best thing about looking like a deranged criminal is nobody ever wants to talk to you. It's awesome. <laughs> Oil pressure? Not yet, not yet. It's moving now. Oh, there she goes. Oh, oh. Try it again, see how the oil pressure works now. I just pulled the fender off and put it back on. That's not bad. Well, it crawled up better. Yeah, it's way better now. The sender was dirty. It's got good oil pressure. Perfect. Perfect. Alrighty, so the oil pressure now is through the roof. Uh, well, she's got an 80% Lucas, 20% uh, oil mix. And the temperature is f***ed off, so we should be good to go. Should be. We went and rinsed the rod out, and, uh, and I'm not going to say anything bad. You know, well, well, this is probably something bad, but uh, I'm not going to say the women of Sylvan Lake are dirty, but I'm going to guess they wear those short skirts to f***ing picnics to keep the flies off the chicken for f***ing sakes, because Jesus, f***ing tap dance when some of these broads are sacked out. I mean, you don't lose your wife, you just lose your turn. Oh, there's two things guys lie about. Jerking off and grinding gears. We all do her. Alrighty, so we made her about 60 miles down the road, maybe a little more, and the old fucking purge running mint. That old that hole is still deader than but uh but she's doing good. She hasn't burned all her gas either. We just filled her up and everything's good. I'm just gonna get under there and have a gander at the diff oil. What for uh she's leaking like a mother of those people stupid in town, eh? What the is wrong with red deer? Oh, everything. You know what's wrong with Red Deer? Meth. Just listen to this old hooter. Just loyal. I mean, I should probably push the clutch all the way in. their hair lips and half wits we made her about uh, 160 miles of the trip so far and uh, if you haven't heard she's still missing hard on one hole so what we're gonna do is do a side of the road diagnostic on this old pile of is it puking antifreeze yeah. no it's not yeah. it identifies as not puking antifreeze just pulled over here having a gander at things and uh, there's definitely some oil or some emulsion-y stuff going on on top of the old uh, radiator here. So what we're gonna do to fix that is just put the rad cap on and then not worry about it. We're gonna put it on all the stages. Now it's actually gonna build some pressure. All right, well let's figure out what holes did here. So what you do is you just pull all these things off. Oh, we're gonna give this one a reach around. 
So on Ford, it's one through four, five, six, seven, eight. What hole do you think it is, Jago? You think number one? Number one. Number one fat redneck. Oh. Brand new Jago. And fancy. Well, I have been holding her at like 3,000 spins a minute. Yeah, pretty giving her. Just starts up beauty. Number one, eh? Need that one. Need that one. I think it's that one. How is the plug? Is is the is the question there? Of course, it's the farthest hole back, eh? <laughs> Buddy's rallying that lawnmower. <laughs> That's what his boyfriend just texted him, told him his parents just left. All right, let's see what the thing looks like. Uh, LittleOily.com. Well, I wonder what the plugs look like in the back. That jerry can looks good. What are we looking here? Oh, that's a good looking plug. Look at that guy. I think we're better off to try to clean one of these things up than that greasy old whore. What do you think? Big shout out to the that bought me a brand new one of these things after the old uh, rickshaw fire of 2022. That plug looks like brand new, Jacob. Yes. Come in. Man, Hank Hill called it for the stupid apocalypse, though. All those episodes where every time he go into the megalomart everybody's stunned now everybody's stunned i wonder if texas and that area was ahead of us on the stunness because it's bad here i wonder if it's worse there like i've never been down there I don't know. let's ask the lube tubers what do you guys think when you guys go into into the fucking, uh malwart is everybody in there just fucking mouth breathing or what because up here everybody that works at a malwart is some fucking blue haired tired and they're I wish Hank, there was a Hank Hill type still at the hardware stores. You know how you go into the hardware store nowadays, like the, the little town hardware stores, Jago, and there's a Hank Hill kind of guy, you know? He can actually tell you what the is going on. All right, what do we say? Are you queer? Still fucked. I'm gonna guess we got a uh, bent push rod. Push rods, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Seafoam definitely straightens out push rods. Do you want to Give her the old hot soak. All right, start dumping. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Oh, don't worry. Once you fire it back up, that's when the cheech begins. She's got a little left in her. Let's shoot her in there. All right, I'm gonna hold her all the way to the mat and fire it up. Bring your background. Dial it right in. Oh yeah, we got one more left in her Jago. They like this, you know. You can tell by the amount of smoke coming out of it that it likes it.
she spins pretty good, but you can just tell there's one dead hole. There's no blow by now. I wonder if it did the bent push rod. Wait, we gotta pull the valve cover quick. It'll take a second, we can straighten the fur. For the love of the old furred, we're gonna wrench on this molten hot engine just to see if the push rod's bent. Are they all half inch? Looks like it. Oh no, we're back to that again. He's been rounding off bolts since the age of 14. Was that a 5.8 or a 9.16? I'm pretty sure I'm right this time. You are right. Yeah. Kids these days. You're going to go for all the easy ones and leave me the molten hot ones in the back? Yeah. Nice. All the f***ing bolts are loose. Were yours loose too? I don't know how to use them. All right, what did the survey say? Survey said. Oh, yeah. Look at the dirt and rust <laughs> in this oh, dirt. Holy Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's doing a lot. So There's we're, no push rod in there at all. The push rod's gone. Like, she gone. I can't believe it's fucking running. Like, look at the fucking rust in there. Jeebus. You just got to appreciate that fucking rust. Like, holy f***. Jago, how long are these push rods? Can we make a push rod? Man, this uh, this thing's playing the fiddle pretty hot for having seven holes. Oh, are you trying to find the push rod in the in yeah. the box that doesn't have a... a, a... <laughs> well, good luck. You do, you do never know. Not in the door pocket. Oh, we got bills of sales here. November 24th, 1996. I'm gonna guess that push rod down inside the engine somewhere. It ate it. Think so? Yeah, but if it bent far enough and the cam been eating on it for the last however many hours, it could be causing catastrophic issues. <laughs> They're just uh, coming on down the highway, you know? I can't believe how much and rusted in his old hooer. Where is the push rod? <laughs> is, did Buddy just raw dog around with no push rod? Is that what happened? Well, he was meaning to get around to put one back in. Oh, yeah. But, but, of, but of course, right? Procrastination took over. <laughs> that does happen. That'll happen. That will That'll happen. happen. All right. Next stop, White Court. My stick. All right. Well, Jake and I are in Malwart, and their tool selection sucked dick for a ride home and walks. But we did find this and we wrote or this mountain pie camp maker thing and uh i mean that stock looks pretty good doesn't it okay, that's pretty much push rod that's stocks what that is all right well we're at malward still pulled into white court and canadian tire sucks for rides home and walks anyway didn't have shit and they were closed uh jago mountain pie maker eh camp cooker grilled sandwich maker aka push rod on a stick Ow. Everything's really hot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this push rod out of here, put her in the number eight hole, and hopefully it doesn't just bend the push rod and out of two holes that we gotta make two weenie roaster stick push rods out of, but if it happens, it happens. I mean, on the uh, gamble of eight cylinders, sometimes you just gotta roll with it, you know? We should've grabbed some gloves in Malward. It would've been good for that. Yeah, that would've involved Not being stunned. Speaking about stunned, I wonder how Willard's doing. Oh, that thing was tight. Stuck, head stuck in anything yet. Oh no, he's definitely got his head stuck in something today. It's withered for sakes. So we're fully aware that a push rod oils the uh, rocker arm via the tube in the center. Narrow urethra. But I mean, it doesn't even need that much oil. It's got oil and other things and stuff. Oh, there's a push rod in there. Is there? I think there's something in there. There's something in there. Are you sure you're actually in the hole? Yeah, that's the only hole there. That is exactly what she said. Let's have a look at it through one's phone. Oh, would you look at this? <laughs> oh yeah, there's definitely something way down in there. And it's struggling. How did it eat that much of the push rod? All right, so how the f we fish that out of there? We gotta try to find a way. Uh, we need eight holes, Jaco. If we take my, hey, Take, grab that quarter inch extension. I'll grab the camera magnet. Give me that guy. Did this thing fit in the push rod hole? A, that's what she said. Yeah, yeah. See, if we take the grinder and you make these into some needle nose. Oh, this is like the worst grinding disc ever. I have like 800 grinding discs at home and I grabbed that one. You know what they call that? Stunned. I think I found this at the dump, actually. Imagine that. Look at those things. Push rod extraction pliers. Oh, that's what those are. That's, they, they sell them. Sell those in the snap-on track. Yeah. They come with a complimentary side of rape. I don't, I don't feel nothing in there. That's what she said. I think I need to go smaller. That's what she said. <clears throat> 
they had it pushed right down for some reason and they fucking dropped it when they were putting it back in. Cause like how the f Oh. Did you hear that? I did, yeah. Jayco. <laughs> Gra grab that. <laughs> grab it. Yep. Man. All right. We got the push rod out. Oh my God. How's she looking? She's a little bit broken. No, that's that's how they're supposed to be. <laughs> that's that's the lightweight push now, where's rod. Where's the other end of it? That's we're not worried about it. As long as we get the push rod in there, we don't give a sweet fiddler. And stick this guy home. Yeah, one little backfire. It really gives you a bad push rod, eh? <laughs> Something's burning my flap. Is that hot? What is it? A pliers? Yeah. God damn it, my gut's burning. Oh yeah, make sure it's not in gear. All right, come look at that push rod. See here. Oh yeah, Diego, she's pushing. That's what she said. Buddy, we're gonna have a fucking a V8 again. There we go. You heard the click, right? Yeah. Oh, I gotta pull another. I gotta pull another push rod. We need another reference. Yeah, we kind of need to build one still. Yeah. I can honestly say I don't think anybody's ever made a push rod out of a weenie roasting stick or whatever the f that thing is. Oh, do we have enough? We can do it without the thread. Yeah. Let's cut it off there and then yeah. Oh my ball. Nuts. Hot nuts. I don't know, that looks like a push rod end to me. Yeah, like even the tip of it looks almost like it's hollow. Dingle. Oh, we're looking for length here. We come up a little short. That's what she said. All right, that. Oh, bud, that's gonna work. Get in there. Ow, it's hot. Ow, God, son of a. Um, we're gonna have to crank it over again. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. This is a better clearance reunit. You know, better, higher performance, lighter weight, hot dog, weenie roasting, mountain pie stick thing. All right, crank her over. <laughs> See what happens. Oh, oh yeah, it's working. Go, is that go again? I'm just gonna make sure all, all of them are rocking. Give her. No? All right, we got all the holes, Jaco. Firing the hole. Oh, it never runs so smooth. Jaco. We got a V8 again, buddy. I'm gonna tell you something about me, Joe Rogan, that you might not know. I smoke rocks. Buddy, they're fing 12, relax. That's why you're not allowed in playgrounds. <laughs> you know the sleeve for the throat oh. bearing? How are you doing there? Good, bud. Hey, that's a nifty little tool you got yourself there. What's that? Not at all. Oh, my camera? Yeah. Smile, you're on YouTube. Am I? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Gentlemen, what brings me to my next point? Don't smoke crack. <laughs> Buddy sure f***ed off when he told you he was on camera, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, no. Need that one? That was the problem hole. So what are the chances of it lathing through that rocker? Are you worried about it? Neither am I. I mean, it really can't get any worse than it was, right? Exactly. Well, like, what are we worried about? Going through the engine? Like, I'm looking at a little rust here and there. All right, let's see how she goes now.
hoped it'll go. And uh, if he lived in close, I don't know what that is, but I, I don't think it's good. Like, like really good, like really bad. Is she gonna dirty dangle? I got her hot or what? Let's listen here. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? It's still running on all eight. Just a little, little knocky. We have bad noises. Real, real bad noises. Just dark, ominous tones. Oh yeah. Are you going to let go? Not let him go. What did you say about the rickshaw? It's a piece of <laughs> my legs are... <laughs> well, I only got one that hurt, so she's good. So, when your truck starts to hammer and knock when you're driving down the road, what do you usually do? Well, what you want to do is you hook on as to much a... weight as you possibly can <laughs> at the time, and then you truly durability test it. As soon as we get on the other side of the river, Jaco, we are going to uh, see if we can go fold Jehobo with whatever's knocking on the side of the crank or the crankcase there. When you're on the other side of the river, you're home free. Oh, exactly. Yeah. She, man, did you see the rust and crud in, inside this mill? I fed it ketchup all day too, and she's just loving it. Yeah, that, thing was, that thing hasn't seen that kind of RPM <laughs> in probably 40 years. Well, the old timer that owned it. Like he, he probably <laughs> didn't highway that thing with like this thing at all. That's just idler around, yeah. smoke darts. Well, Diego, appreciate the day, buddy. All right, bird. Get me across the river. Got the old rickshaw on tow here. Relax, gentlemen. She's old. She'll hold. Well, we're damn near ready to hit the old dirt road on the way home here, and I feel bad about something. I've uh, I've left something locked up. It's been locked up a little too long, and well, it's time to uh, set these fucking bald eagles free. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a thick muffler. All right, let's let freedom ring. Oh. Oh, yeah. Man, let's get home.
You're stunned. Well, you gotta give it to this old fucking male. She made her all the way the fuck back. Alrighty there, hair lips and half wits. Are you near surprised as my fat ass that uh, this old Ferd made her home? I thought this old uh, 400 or 351M had thrown in her towel when she started hammering, but uh, look, look at this fucking shit. Just a fucking sweetheart. Just listen to that one more time. Oh, sweet. But without too much more John, let's get this valve cover off and just have a gander in there see what the going on. See if our weenie roasting stick made it all the way home. All right, let's have a gander under her skirt. What are we looking at here? I think, look at the color change. I'm pretty sure that got really hot. Let's see if she pushes the rocker arm up still. All right, so I reckon the lack of oiling has, uh, oh, look it. That whole hole is dead now. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, push rod on number five is gone for uh, intake and exhaust. Like, I mean, what is up? I'm going to guess it lost number five hole somewhere where I was uh, giving her 35 SPM, but uh, that spins for minutes for all you hillbillies out there. But yeah, I don't, that's uh, Winnie roast and stick, and uh, it, it didn't do it any favors. It did, and it didn't. It, it made her most of the way back, but this is like all burnt looking. So I'm going to guess that this rocker got real hot. All right, well, maybe there's some engine techs out there that would like to uh, fill a feller here full of shit on to why the f this happened. They were in the old talker section. I don't understand why it kicked out that push rod. It got rid of that one because this one wasn't giving her enough or something like that. I, I haven't the slightest clue, but if you guys could put her down in the talker, that'd be uh, that'd be cool to find out. I don't know, but one thing I do know is this old mill is loyal as f Oh, f yeah. And speaking about loyal as f like always, let's give and thanks to the minty and pricks that are paying for my freedom of speech. Now let's get some shit straight here. If it wasn't for these minty pricks, I'd be uh, paddling the boat up creek once again with no paddle. So uh, like I said once, I'll say it again. I'll say it 500 more times. Guys, I appreciate the shit out of it. Especially living in the communist shit that I get to enjoy. You know, you got uh, all these stupid bills and all the rest of these fiddle fuckers coming out to uh, protect people from hurtful words and all the rest of this so all you guys that shared my last video, it gave her all the way, the mud bog video. And uh, keep on sharing these pricks because the, you know, the old uh, communist government of Canada is going to do their best to stuff my uh, videos to the back of the god cupboard. And pricks. You can't f a guy and then put a higher tax on beer too. like, And they do it. For f sakes. Man, I just love the cabs of these old furs. Like, look at that finger bank bench. Uh, what a treat. Alrighty, well we got the 10 bucks. We got uh, Zachary Johnson, Zach Fox, Whiskey Whiskey, Tony Breeder, Lifted Liberty 96, Jonathan, Jay Welchek, Corey Mossy, and Nut. I think that's Nut. Pretty sure I spelled that right. Alrighty, we got the new 15 bucks. We got Dalton Hurst. We got 20 buckers. Sebastian Weiser. That's a badass last name. Full Q, Ian Messer, and Fish Boy. 25 buckers. We got Mara B. And 30 buckers, we got Seth Crab. Thank you, mother very much, and uh, welcome to the final free. Alrighty, and these minty pricks, as you're seeing right now, it's, uh, these are the guys that have been around a while and thought to give my fat ass a raise. Appreciate the out of that. All right, we got Cody Lee, Blue Hayden, Brandon Weeb Weebicky, Wibicky? Is that Wibicky? I don't know. Turbo Austin 69, Tim Duke, Chansey Rigsby, Garrett 1733, Bam Bam, Let's Go B Randon. <laughs> Man, Devin Johnston, the F1-ish. Is that is that the fish? I'm stunned. We got one and a half legged Ricky Bobby. That's, that's man. I, I mean, there's got to be a story behind that. All right, we got some actual classy sounding names in this list. You got you guys got to, you'll you'll hear them when I say them. We got uh, Jonas Hester, Mister Sister Fister. The <laughs> man, uh, my name and my name give me two raises. So thank you very much, bud. Uh, we got Diesel Burner gave me a. Hundred dollar raise, hundred bucks and sixty nine cents. Diesel burner, yeah, buddy. This bush latte is for you, bud. 
Ah, oh, yeah. I'm not gonna give you too much of it. I'm just gonna pour it on the floor. We got Randy J. Marquardt. 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 I'm fing stunned. Ryan Mongolier at 50 fing beans. Thank you very much, bud. I'm pretty sure I said your last name wrong. M Mongalier. Mongalier? Yeah, I'm stunned. We got Ryan Nicholas Hervainer. Dalton Hurst. Kristen Jackson. And look at how fing fancy this guy's name is spelled with a K and sh. That's just fancy as sh. Mitch Page. Justin Webster. Rick Beeb, RJB, Lincoln Locker, Peter Beater, Harley McGee, Ty Barner, Austin Fleck, Random Viewer, Ben Arlt, Arlt, is that how you say that? Arlt. Take some stun. And Sean Edinburn. These old fing dashes were the ticket, eh? You just throw your fing beer can up there. They see they put that little ledge there for it. And as long as you didn't fing rip a corner too fast, she would stay stout right there. So if you guys are wondering what the going on with the misleading title i didn't see any drag racing going on well you're a hundred percent right all i have to do now is turn this old 1979 Ferg into a drag racer so like i said at the beginning of the video uh i usually go on this drag racing thing well i've gone to it once and i'd planned on going on it again but uh i lost my seat in the swamper side of the old k whopper muskrat truck there the old k whopper with the uh with the dirty detroit in it so i lost my seat in there and then my mintiest buddy dd speed shop and josh over at shade tree mechanical we're gonna uh let me ride in the back of their uh sassy pants gas or 55 chevy you guys are uh you're gonna see this thing and it's mint you, you seen it last year it was struggling well this year it's uh i'm not gonna wreck the surprise but she's gonna come out of the gates and swinging well those minty pricks said uh peg and leg and you can ride in the back of this thing and i said uh that seems like a pretty good time and then i thought about it and then i thought about how fat i am and how small the back seat of a and uh, that gasser would be and i says you know what i might just try to dial my own pile of together so like i said i haven't done any kind of drag racing i've never built the slightest thing to go fast ever but i'm sure the gonna try i got a uh well i'm gonna guess you guys are gonna figure out what the going in it for power uh i'm not really much of a gas guy i haven't built very many gas engines seven three idis well they're really loyal but uh well and they're about as and slow as old uncle joe there the old 7.3 power smoke it'd be a good swap it'd be a good time i'd toss her in there and fiddle some down pipes and all the rest of that stuff but uh i have an absolute pile of these dirty old 12 valves that are laying around that uh, have lost their shipping crate imagine that so i'm gonna toss one of them in this old hooer i'm gonna do some different stuff with a rear diff i'm gonna do some different stuff with a bruce and i'm gonna crank that 12 valve to the moon well as far as i can get her to go on a, on a budget anyhow and i mean does a feller even give a f if it does anything else and burns tires you don't need to worry about f functionality i mean tire killing is pretty much that's as functional as it needs to be so yeah i got about uh, 20 to 22 or 23 to, i don't remember how, i'm not very good at math but uh, i got i got not very long to uh turn this old pile of uh 1203 burning and into a uh, 1202 burning pile of sh with hopefully a pile of horsepower that can uh, murder back tires because i mean a better man than myself once said there ain't no f minute like the last minute well until the next box production i dial off the old user you guys keep out your f mint <laughs>